Hey, I'm Danny Surname and I'm back in London, I'm back in my room. Hey, I've missed you. As you might remember from my Christmas haul or my birthday haul, I got some fancy lights. Let me know if they're distracting and if they are, then we'll turn them off. So this morning, I was in the shower getting ready, as you do, and I got terrified that there was going to be someone in the bathroom with me when I got out. This is a thing I do a lot and it's completely 100% irrational because obviously there's not, I would have heard them come into the bathroom. But whenever I have a shower and I start to panic, I think I'm going to get out and die like I'm in psycho. So I was inspired to make a video about five irrational fears that a lot of people have. At least four of them happen at night. So here we go. Number one is what I just said, getting out of the shower and being convinced that someone's going to attack you. No reason you would have heard them sneak up on you, but it happens. For me, it's usually thinking that there's going to be a clown or someone in a ski mask. They're usually the, the go-to terrifying panic images. Number two, having to leave your room at night when all the lights are off. This was something I was a lot more scared of at home and I've tried to be adult. There's not going to be anything in the dark, but hmm, no, it's still really terrifying here anyway. I tend to go out and turn every single light on down to the kitchen. I'm not an adult. Number three, passing by windows on the ground floor or by mirrors at night. There's not going to be anybody there. But what if there is that one time? Whoa, creepy. Number four, when you're lying asleep in bed and you're really comfy but it gets a bit warm and you stick your arm out of the covers. Perfect temperature. But what if something comes and grabs my arm and drags me down to hell? I am not one for horror movies, but I've heard a lot of people die because their arm or leg was sticking out of the covers. Not gonna risk it. Number five, when you're already freaked out and you decide to check all the spaces in your room that someone could hide in, just having to look under the bed or in your wardrobe when you've half convinced yourself that there must be someone in the room. That or you've heard really creepy noises, which happens a lot when I'm living here because of the mice. We have mice and it was an issue in my room and I could hear them and before I realised they were mice, I was fucking terrified. I'm all safe now, the holes have all been plugged up and there are no longer that many creepy noises. But yeah, having to check any dark space is something I did a lot when I lived up north because my mum used to hide in my room all of the time. So I got into a habit of just checking every dark space. One day I'll grow up and I won't be irrationally scared of dark spaces or being stabbed by some mysterious wanderer in person. But that day is not today. Leave down in the comments if you can relate to any of these fears. Leave down in the comments if you've got any others that are similar. And before you ask, no, I didn't put spiders in this video because yeah, they're an irrational fear, but they're not one that I'm afraid of. <laughs> That's it, so I'm going to love you and leave you. Give me an ego boost, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.